hi guys just coming on real quick today with a bonus video for you i made this beautiful wall sconce and all i used was one dollar tree bowl this was super quick and easy and you can make this in under 15 minutes but before we get started i want to introduce you to my other diys i have other wall sconces and chandeliers that i made from dollar tree items i'll attach a little playlist at the end of this video so you can check it out when you're done so I'm going to be using the same bowls that I used to demonstrate how to make this end table. I used E6000 so it was hard for me to pull it apart. But I just want to show you different ways in which you could use these bowls. So the first thing you want to do is to place your bowl on top of a piece of cardboard. and Just use your marker to go around the perimeter. Then you want to cut on the inside so your cardboard can fit on the inside of your bowl. Then just use your hot glue to securely hold it in place and just use a generous amount of hot glue. Next, I will flip my bowl over and I'll use my 220 sanding paper to sand away that outer layer from the design. And you want to sand it for about three minutes so you can remove most of the paint so your light can come through. And I'm also going to remove that sticker from the base and stand it clear. Then I'll just use a wet soapy rag to clean up the dust. And then I'm going to be using my leftover crafting beads. I have them from when I was making this chandelier. I just place them on the tips and it just reflects the light nicely. So I'm just simply going to use my hot glue to attach them. And I'm just putting my hot glue in sections and just adding my beads. So I'm just freehanding this part and I'm taking it all the way around and adding like a star shape, an imperfect star shape. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for visiting my channel. My name is Nisi, the channel is Budget Friendly Creations. I would appreciate if you stick around, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on so you'll get notified every Friday when I upload a new video. And to all my current subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for sticking around with me and leaving all your comments and all your thumbs up. It's much appreciated. So I'm just going around and I'm just filling in any space that I think can use more beads. So we're almost done. I'll go ahead and show you how to add the lights and I'm using these push lights with remote and I got these from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can purchase them if you'd like. And these lights, they also change colors so you can set for one color or multiple colors. So I'm just going to take my exacto knife and I'll make a hole in the center big enough to fit the light. Then I'm going to use my hot glue to go around on the inside so I can put my light in place. So you just want to push the light halfway in so you can have the back leaving out. So when you want to change your bulbs, it's easy access. So you should glue your cardboard about quarter inch in so that way you can have space for the cap. And to hang it on the wall, I'm just going to use my aluminum wire. And I'll just cut a little piece, about one inch, one and a half inch off. And I'll just use my pliers to cut it and loop it. And then use my hot glue to hold it in place. And I'll just look to see where I want my top to be. And I'll just use a thumbtack to hang it on the wall. And that's it guys. That is it. You could make two of them, put one on either side of your bed and it would look beautiful. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this one. Thanks for watching and if you have a few minutes to spare, I compiled a little playlist with my other chandeliers. Just click on that box right there to watch them. 
I'll appreciate it so much. Remember now, turn your bell on so you can get notified on Friday. Bye-bye.